Hi everyone, it's Mike with Crane Realty. If you've been following me on this channel, you'll know that I really like to see what's going on with regard to our market here in the Rochester and Finger Lakes location for real estate. Uh, one of the most easiest metrics to look at was with regard to the inventory, how much inventory each month do we have, and that just goes into basic economics, supply and demand, and it dictates a lot of different habits and behaviors with regard to buyers and sellers. Uh, there's a couple other metrics to actually take a look at as well. That's why I want to create this video for us to take a look at, particularly for this really unique spring, as we have like half the amount of inventory as we did last year, exactly this time back in 2022. Um, wanted to look at the average list price to see is that maintaining and staying the same or is it decreasing or possibly increasing? And also with regard to the average close price compared to its sale price, and is that maintaining at 100%? Basically it's one for one or is it increasing or decreasing as well? So let me get into those matrix and I'll, I'll break them down for you. So you can see right here, we're going to be looking at a, a window of the last five years. We're going to start by looking at the average list price, and we'll be looking at it as a month. We'll also be looking at the month of, or excuse me, the uh, town or county of Ontario, because that's where our office is located. If you were to click on chart, it would look something like this. So you can see that the average has been increasing over time. Not too much of a surprise. Uh, obviously it took a little bit of a dip here, almost kind of plateaued, but then after 2021 into 2022 really became aggressive and then it took some jagged up and down trends. But clicking on data, you can see if we were to compare across from 2022 to 2023, uh, the average list price has really increased quite a bit. So. Uh, for February, the average list price around 280k is now closer to 320k, right? So for March of 2022, uh, the average list price closer to 290, and then for our previous month of March in 2023, it was closer to 355, right? And then the last month here, again closer to like a, a mid 290k for last year and now has increased up to almost pushing 370. So the list price of homes, what people are asking is significantly higher than what it was last year. And the big question is, are people actually paying it? Uh, a good way to tell is looking at another stat right over here with regard to the close price versus that list price ratio. So we're seeing the average list price here. We would like to know is that a one for one? Are people, if you were to list it at, let's say, a 300K, are you getting exactly what you're asking? In which case, that would create 100%. If you were to list it at 300K and someone's doing 340, then it's going to be a 100 plus percentage, right? Likewise, if it's under, it'll be a decrease. So let's take a look at that information. Click Generate here. And you can see for the previous month of April, it was basically a one for one. Uh, that's been the trend. And you could see ever since uh, getting through COVID, it's pretty much been uh, con very consistently a seller's market, meaning you're putting your property on the market, you're asking for something, and then you're going to be getting pretty much what you're asking. That's been true for pretty much the you know, spring through uh, fall market. All of last year, it maintained over 100% aggressively through the whole time. Um, this actual dip here in March was the very first time that it went below 100%, and we haven't seen that since like March of 2021, which is really, that's quite a, um, a, sh a hot streak going there. Um, if you needed more evidence to you know see and ask the question, hey, is the market still really hot? Are people um, still uh, bidding ad asking or going aggressively over? Uh, the answer is yes. Uh, obviously, if you take this information, also follow my inventory videos, you'll definitely know um, just that real lack of supply is what's really driving it for sellers right now. Um, you know, we, we have such a lack of inventory that, yes, even with the interest rates increasing, which I know for a lot of buyers in the back of their minds are saying, okay, put a pause on. I know the interest rates increased, they over doubled uh, from what they were last spring, 
and sellers can't really realistically expect us to be paying um, higher prices isn't this starting to ease its way back into a buyer's market? And frankly, from all of this uh, data, the answer is no. The market is still really hot. It's still going for aggressively up and over asking, and uh, it, it's still a very difficult market out there. So get a hold of a really good um, buyer's agent, a realtor who can help represent your best interest, who's really good at contract writing and can get you over the hump. Uh, if this was a video that was helpful to you, make sure to click that uh, thumbs up button and make sure to click the subscribe button so you never miss any of our content which comes out each and every week. Again, I'm Mike with Crane Realty and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.